guys, Anita Fanita here. How is everyone? I missed you guys. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'm still having my coffee. Oh my god, today, uh, so what I did was I wanted to wake up early uh, at maybe 7.30 is when I set the alarm so I can wake up early so I can do this video for you guys today. And then the alarm uh, went buzzed and buzzed and Anita turned it off and <laughs> And then, uh, the, and then I ended up waking up at, I think it was 1140 something. And the only reason I got up, got up is because my mom called me saying she's at the door. So I don't know if you, how you guys have been, but recently I haven't been able to, uh, I've been sleeping really long and haven't been able to, uh, I'm not able to wake up in the mornings. And so are the kids. I think it's because, uh, our schedules are all mixed up. And, and, and the thing is we sleep really late at night too. So it was probably like two, uh, two o'clock when I went to bed. So how is everyone? <laughs> Give me a second. I'm almost done, guys. I was just like rushing, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this bag up for you guys, but I need to have my coffee first because I can't think. Okay, so we were gonna do um, this pink uh, bag here, and I don't know who the winner of the contest is yet. So I'm gonna open up the bag. We're gonna count together how many is in here, and then I'll look in the in the comments to see who the winner is. And then um, I already, while I was making the coffee, thinking of what the question of the day is going to be. And I already thought of one. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. Oh, okay. They're flower uh, brooches. Let's count how many is in here. And then I'll go really quick and see who, who got it correct first. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve in here. Twelve. Did I say there's twelve? Guys, I lost count. Hang on. Let's go over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay, give me a quick second. I'll be right back. Let me... Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I did go back to my comment section, and then I started reading from, uh, you know, the, the ones that said it first to the most recent, from the oldest to recent. And uh, we do have 17 here. And the winner is over here, Kay Michaela. Uh, it's, she said 17 is my guess. Uh, Kay, uh, thank you so much. You're, uh, you're the win uh, winner for... Uh, uh, for, for the question of the day, please co uh, contact me with uh, your uh, shipping info. And your price here is, I decided to give this one as the price, the set here, this beautiful uh, brooch with the earrings. And I also decided to add another pair of earrings to it. And I really like these hoops over here with the green stones. So I added this one as well. So this is going to be your gift. Please contact me. I want to thank everybody who's uh, who's commenting, uh who's space uh, who's um <laughs> guys i don't have enough coffee yet <laughs> i want to thank everybody who's participating i really appreciate you guys and we're going to do a question of the day right now before we go ahead and open okay so i purchased this beautiful piece um it's a beautiful necklace vintage piece i'm not going to say what the company it is and i when i purchased it it also came along with a brooch and I want you guys to guess uh, what company made this necklace and the brooch. The brooch. I'm not going to show you the brooch because that's going to be kind. Of, that's going to be, you know, the um, the tricky part. So uh, I want you guys to write down the two makers you think uh, made. The first one is going to be this one, and the other one is going to be kind of like a guess on what you think the maker of the brooch is. So guess two makers, and what you're going to win is actually this and the brooch. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the brooch tomorrow along with the winner. Please, again, guess what company made this and then also the brooch. And there are two different companies. So uh, that's going to be the question of the day. But I want to let you guys take a look at it. So you can. it'll give you an idea of who might be the maker. And I'm going to put it away now. And we're going to start opening up these goodies. Okay. Let's we'll start with this one because I think this one is really cute. And it's a beautiful flower brooch here a uh, pink color oh there's a maker in there uh, I bring my loop yes I did uh, BSK and that's a really nice brand for uh, they make really good quality jewelry so BSK for that and this one caught my eye too <laughs> pink sparkly things 
This is so cute. It's a pink sparkly, like I said, flower. No maker's mark. Has kind of like a uh, copper back to it. Really pretty. So we have that one. And I decided we're going to open two uh, lots today. I don't know where the other one went. It's right here. So we have another one here that I'm going to open. This one too. So get your coffee, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this one. This is beautiful. I like this one with the red and pinks. You don't find red and pink together that often. And, um... Oh, this one is by Coral. That's pretty. And judging by the way the back is, this is how it's worn. Very cute. I like this one too. Oh, it's pretty. Look at that. It's a dark red and green on a black color. Uh oh, guys, I hear something in there. You hear that? It's rattling. There's something inside. Let's see what's inside. Um, is it? It's a little kind of like a bell. I think it's supposed to make a noise. Then I don't know. Uh, it's by let's see here, Warner. It says <clears throat> Warner, and I don't know. I think if it's guys, what do you think? Is it supposed to make noise? Because it's like a little bell, and and uh, there's no way that it could have been been in there unless it was intentionally placed in there so that's weird okay <laughs> a rattling pin flower okay <clears throat> this is really cool look at that oh wow okay Ooh, this, look at this beautiful green you could see through it very cute interesting and it's not broken but it does it is um does have a rivet very very cute oh I like this okay and it has rhinestones in the center very cute okay and then what do we have let's see the one here with two brooches that this pink one I like here look at that that is so cute and so clean too oh it's missing a little bit of the enameling here but oh that's too bad it's marked by park lane but you know what things like this even though it's missing a little bit of the enameling they will still sell because they're beautiful so there it goes and then we have this one here with the pearl no makers on this one and look at this guy here <laughs> Ooh sparkly and these are tricky because we need well as, as resellers i need to go back and make sure all the stones are there and i know i'm human and that sometimes i'll miss a stone but i try to you know make sure i look at everything here and well i'm not going to look at it right now but uh, it seems to be i'm looking at the bigger pieces they all seem to be there this is a really pretty one uh, there's no maker's mark in the back, but it is well made. Beautiful, heavy piece. So this is a nice one, too. This one here is very interesting looking. Okay, it's plasticky. This part's, no, nope, that's plasticky, too. So this is a, a older piece here with little rhinestone embellishments. In there, no maker's marks, but this is really pretty. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. And we have another one here uh, with green. And it has a, a gunmetal tone to it. And it has minty green rhinestone skin. Very cute color. Oh, boy. Okay. And we have this one with pearls. For those of you that love pearls, personally me, I don't go for the pearls so much. Uh, I would, well, um, let me think here. If I were to choose between rhinestones and pearls, I and I personally would choose the rhinestone uh, instead of the pearls. What about you guys? Are you more of a rhinestone? Uh, um, do you like more rhinestones and, or pearls? 
or um, what do you guys prefer? Or just enamel and no stones? Because I know some people like something like this would be their preference if it's just enameling and no, no stones because they, <laughs> they don't want the stones to pop off. <laughs> but this is really pretty. I don't see them. Oh, I do see one here. Okay. And it says here, let's see. JJ. Wow, JJ. You yeah, know, JJ made pieces like this. Okay. And JJ, I think uh, it's Jonette. Jonette. I'm not for sure what the first J is for, but I know that it's um, the second J is for uh, Jonette. Okay. Now we have this piece here. Okay, I see some, um, a little mark over there. Uh, I don't know, guys. It looks like it just needs to be cleaned up. But other than that, it's pretty. I like the colors, very simple, fun piece one here. And what else do we have? Okay, we have these two here. This is really cute. This one's fun. It's a nice one. And then we have this one here in the gold tone with one pearl. We have that one. So not bad. We had a pretty fun lot, and there's more. Okay, we have this one here again with the pretty stones here, plasticky, very, you can see through them, they're really cute, and they're fa faceted, so, yeah, I like this one too, this is cute, okay, a lot of pinks here, guys, <laughs> oh, I'm not complaining, I like pink, okay, and then we have this one here, again, with pink and pearls, and some rhinestones, it's a very interesting one here and we have this little tiny one here I like that they're individually put into little baggies so they don't make scratches to each other see this one here it has some um, discoloration to the stones and I don't I don't do um, clean up rice <laughs> I don't know how to fix this situation the discoloring of the stones other than vinegar and baking soda I don't know um, how else uh, to, to clean these kinds of stones if you guys have any ideas let me know if you know any any companies that uh, you know that they have cleaning products for specifically for rhinestones please put it into the comments I I don't so I'm, this little guy is gonna go into crafts my little guy okay okay guys let's go ahead and open this one too. Okay, we have another another one here so let's turn into this one too Ooh. This one has animals in here. Ooh, lots of goodies. Okay. So, oh, I see. I see a cat. No, it's not. It's a fox. <laughs> it's a fox with green. Is there those rhinestones for eyes? Yes, they are. And we're going to check the back. And I think it says Jerry's. Okay, so we have a Jerry's fox here. Oh, his mouth is open. He's going to eat someone. Not me. Okay. Chewy. Ooh, giraffes. I love giraffes. Okay. Cute. Oh, we have three giraffes. Look at how tall this one is. Ooh. This won't fit into the screen. So this one here. This is, a this is a pretty nice big giraffe. And then we have this one and this one. So we just visited the zoo, guys. And we have more. Oh, this one here is marked as well. This is Liz Claiborne. Uh, what was the big one? Oh, the big one doesn't have a mark. And this one looks like a JJ to me, and I was right. <laughs> so we have three J three uh, beautiful. I love this one, guys. What do you guys think? This big one? Whoa! <laughs> Statement piece. Okay. And then we have some that's a pig or a teddy bear let's see uh is that a pig or a teddy bear guys it looks like a teddy bear i think it's a teddy bear it's a teddy bear with some rhinestones oops it fell okay no marks and then we have a rabbit a vintagey very tiny cute little rabbit with green rhinestone eyes and then this uh pig, piggy bear i'll call it <laughs> the piggy bear Oh, a lion. 
Never say no to a lion. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I don't know. I'm a Leo, so every time I see a lion, I get, I'm like, okay, I, I need to have it. I need to have it. This is so cute. JJ. Look at this guy. Wow. He's pretty. Okay. And then we have, mm, are these cheetahs over here? Or cats? Could be. They're, they seem a little big for cats, but there are two tones here, gunmetal, gold tone, and this is a Liz Claiborne brooch. It's very pretty. Okay, I'm not very clear on what they are, but <laughs> there's some kind of cat. They belong to the cat group then. Oh, frog. We have a frog here, a little brooch, and a little pin that's a frog as well. Two cute frogs. More giraffes. I saw another draft guy. And there's two on here. I see two heads. Look at that. Cute, nice gold. Uh, no maker's mark. I'm going to put you with the giraffes. And we have another lion that's roaring with mouth open. Really cute. I like this one. It, let me see if it's missing eyes. No, that's how it's. That's how it's supposed to be because I see some sort of enameling going on. And mm, let's see here. If there's any makers and nope, I don't see a maker's mark, but this is a really nice unique piece here. Lion. And we have an elephant. And oh, thank you. Oh, you got a package, guys. <laughs> okay, must be Amazon because uh, no one else is going to bring me a package. Okay. So uh, this one here is an elephant. It's the more of a coppery color here. It's very pretty. I like this one. And then we have um, this one. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. Okay. I've never seen a brooch like this. Okay. So it's kind of like a charm brooch. Well, I would not call it... Yes, I would. I was going to say I wouldn't call it a charm brooch because they're not removable, but they are. See, there's an area here where you can remove them. And it has a um, a dog, a cat, and a horse, ironically. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't think that the horse goes with the dog and cat, but it, it does here. And they all have purple rhinestones. Are they purple? Let me check, guys. Yes, purple rhinestones. And... What you can do is probably uh, remove one. I think that's what it's for, guys. Maybe you remove two, and then you wear one at a time. Like, put one in the center, like the horse one, and then put the dog in the center, and then remove this one and put it in. So this is a really good, um, what I would call, um, you know, to um, mix and wear. <laughs> Where you can mix them up, wear them together, wear them individually. So that you can wear them in different ways. This is interesting. I've ne I had never seen a brooch like that before. Okay. Okay. I see monkeys. 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 Oh. So this is the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkeys. They're really cute. Oh my god! I got freaked out. This one's ta tail just like wiggled into my hand. So this one's tail is obviously wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> Ooh. Kind of like a worm a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's see if there's a maker's mark on this. And I don't see anything, but this is fun. A lot of people like wearing these and like like collecting them. I remember my mom had some kind of candlesticks uh, with all three of them with, you know, votive candles. But this is something fun. Okay. Next, I have a goldfish. Only it's orange. An orange goldfish really cute I like it and I do see a mark here by Napier so we have a Napier orange goldfish okay. and then we have some more stuff here let's see I see some more animals guys oh look at this so it's Kermit wearing boxing gloves I think it's Kermit or it could be any other frog but it reminds me of Kermit that's cute that is too cute. Okay, and it is very old here, as you can see from the back. So 
So we have Kermit, and then we have a little mouse here. I like this one. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. We have another. Um, so this one looks like a like a tiger because it has the lines. I think it's a tiger. It has you know the lines in here, and it has a blue. I think it's blue. Blue. Yes, blue rhinestone, and I'm seeing a mark here. Jerry's. Okay, this one is a Jerry's um, tiger with a blue a rhinestone eye. So a lot of fun stuff, and we're still we still have more. Okay, more frogs. Okay, here's the frog with wiggly legs here. No marks. We have a little tiny mouse. That is cute. No marks. Oh, kids, guys, outside. And a alligator here. So we have these three. These are cute scatter pins. Okay. Oh. What else do we have? Oh, okay. <clears throat> These are smaller ones here. An armadillo. I hope I said that right, guys, or else I'm going to look so stupid right now. It's, it's an armadillo, right? <laughs> I'm not that good with animals. I think it is. Um, and this one is by JJ as well. well. JJ did a really good job creating the whole zoo. Okay, this one is a... chipmunk and it's something in the back let's see uh crystal legends fine pewter so we have that and then we have another giraffe <laughs> pin cute okay guys uh oh this little giraffe has a little mark in the back and it's also by jj this one here so guys, was this armadillo? <laughs> Noni! I'm gonna ask my daughter. Noni! Noni, is this armadillo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's an armadillo, guys. Kids know their stuff. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, so next we have another package of mice. Oh, look at that! His little glasses are moving. That is <clears throat> my throat, guys. That is so cute. He has little rhinestone eyes and he's wearing glasses. This might have to go to my sister that works in the optical field. Okay. And I saw something in the, on the ear. It's by Avon. Okay, guys. This one might be a keeper for me because it's too cute with glasses. And then we have a little teddy bear. No marks, and it has black rhinestone eyes. So I'm having fun. How about you guys? Let me know uh, what you guys think of these brooches. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're here, guys. It really does help the channel. And if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe so you can participate in the, in the uh, question of the day and giveaways that I have. I'm planning a really nice giveaway for soon to come. Hopefully... Uh, Let's see here. When can we do it? When can we do it? Maybe maybe, um, maybe we can do it at the end of next month. Because I want to do a really big jar uh, giveaway for you guys. Pig. And then we have a lizard of some sort. And, of course, the cow. And then I have a rabbit here. Looks like a little ball. Cute little rabbit. Oh, look at this. We have an elephant head pin cute one here and oh we have another pig bear guys okay this one it's marked in the back and let's see what it says um oh boy it's hard to see guys Ooh. G I U S T I I don't know but it is a little bear here with the heart uh what rhinestones and then we have a tiny, I don't know what this is, guys. Some kind of lizardy looking thing here. I don't know what that is. And we have another frog with rhinestone eyes. 
I think these frogs may be Avon because a lot of frogs that I've that I've came across that are similar to these have had the Avon mark, but I don't see it here. And then we have more. Oh, guys, here's what were the chances of me finding another armadillo? <laughs> okay, we so we have another one. <laughs> It's a little scatter kind of pin here. <laughs> oh, another bear. Okay, these bears must be lotted up. This is cute. Okay, this one does say Avon. Cute bear with a little green stone, maybe a birthstone. Maybe a peridot birthday. I'm not sure what month that is. Oh, this is an enamel lizard here. Cute little pin also. And we have some other big items here. Let's see what these are. Oh, so royal, <laughs> don't you think? The royal blue, beautiful of gold, enameled, and it does have the trunk up, which is good for good luck, So, I, or so I've heard. Very cute. I like this one. This is pretty. Okay, that. And then we have a purple giraffe, guys, purple, or pink, oh, more like a pinkish purple, light purple giraffe here. Uh, we have another elephant with the trunk up here, gold tone. We have, I do see this famous uh, Noah's Ark pin here. And I think this one is by JJ, if I'm not mistaken. No, this one is by AJC. But I've seen one that JJ made as well. In gold tone. Okay. And we have this one here. It's little bunnies in a basket. So cute. Cute for Easter. And uh, is this one Avon? Because <laughs> I know these kinds of things. Avon made these kinds of uh, little pins. Uh, I don't see anything, any marks. I see another bear, guys. Another cute little bear. And I think there's a rhinestone in his eye. Yes, the black rhinestone. No maker's mark. Cute little gold bear. And then we have another, uh, I think this one is a cheetah, and it looks like Jerry's over there. Jerry's cheetah. And we have a couple of other little tiny things here. Oh, and then one more here, guys. Okay, let's open this one here. And this is a, I think it's a frog. It has a big pearl on the back cute little eyes and legs. I'm guessing this is a frog. It doesn't look anything like anything else besides a frog. Really cute little um, pearl here that they used. And we have three little tiny ones here. And let's see what these are. Okay. And then I'll let you guys go. We have the lizard. Another lizard. Now these are... I see something on this one here. This is Hong Kong. Oh, and we have, okay, so we're going to put the lizards here somewhere. Here, okay. No, it doesn't fit there. I'll just put it here. Okay. And then we have, oh, this one here. Okay. We all know what this is. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think it's that. I think this is the Playboy uh, bunny symbol here. So we're going to put that here. And I think that's it, guys. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys had fun uh, visiting the zoo today, and then the flowers were really cute. I will pick something out uh, of this. Um, uh, <laughs> I will pick something out from here for you guys as well as the necklace. Please go ahead and for those of you that are just coming in or didn't miss the question of the day, question of the day is uh, what maker made this necklace, and then. There's also a brooch that I'm going to include, and then please guess the, the maker of the brooch as well. So write both names, and uh, and and uh, they're both different names. That's the only clue I can give you. They're both different, and then the winner will win the necklace, the brooch, as well as an item that I'm going to pick out from here. I hope you guys have a great uh, day and a great um, week weekend. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and list some of these things here if you're interested in anything you can always message me in my um uh, in my email is down below and i'll see you guys um uh, tomorrow which uh well no i'm not gonna make promises that i can't keep guys uh not tomorrow 
uh, maybe uh, sometime during the week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I will uh, come in and open uh, two more jewelry lots. And I also have uh, three big jewelry uh, mix boxes that I'm going to do as well. I uh, hope you guys had fun. This is Anita Fanitas. See you soon. Bye, everyone.